Hello friends, welcome to another lecture of Make Mechanical Simple. I am going to discuss the mechanics of machinery in a simple topic. That is how to locate instantaneous centers in a mechanism. See, in mechanics of machinery, there are students who are going to talk about topic. Velocity Analysis Velocity Analysis we are going to do two things One is by means of instantaneous center method and second one is by using Relative Velocity method I am going to cover this lecture How do we locate instantaneous centers locate? Because in the instantaneous center method there is a major portion of Eisenders locate In instantaneous centers we are going to classify them that is primary instantaneous center and secondary instantaneous centers primary instantaneous center in the parmanyale that we can easily locate by means of visual examination ok and secondary eye centers in the number pin discuss here ok so there are certain rules for locating primary instantaneous centers enga na namakku primary instantaneous centers easy at locate here that is rule number one is in a pivoted joint like this the center of the pivot will be the instantaneous center okay and second one is in a sliding pair in a sliding pair the instantaneous will be at infinity in a direction perpendicular to the motion of the slider the instantaneous will be at infinity in a direction perpendicular to the motion of the slider and third one is in a pure rolling contact in a pure rolling contact the contact itself is the instantaneous center at a particular instant e contact and helicum instantaneous center e case so these are the rules for locating primary instantaneous center okay now we will come to the first example that is we have a four bar mechanism here that is A, B, C, D. Okay. This is the instantaneous centers located in the locker. So, first step, I will be explaining this in a step by step manner. First step in the barmanial, you have to name all the links. Ella link ni repair uduka, number uduka. Okay, that is one, two, three, and four. So, I have named all the links as one, two, three, four. Then second step is we have to determine how many instantaneous centers are there. That is the number of instantaneous centers present in this particular mechanism. So for that we have an equation that is capital N is equal to N into N minus 1 divided by 2. But a small n representing another the number of links in a particular mechanism and capital N representing another the number of instantaneous centers in that mechanism so here we have four links so if we substitute that value here we will get capital N that is number of instantaneous centers as 6 that is 4 into 3 divided by 2 that is 6 so that means we have to locate a total of 6 instantaneous centers so next step is to mark the primary instantaneous centers by using these rules okay so by visual examinations we have a lump pivoted joints and so one and two the instantaneous center between one and two we can give it as i12 two and three normal instantaneous center we can give it as i23 and here we have three and four so this is i3 4 and here this is I14 1, 1 and 4 this is in a center, center between 1 and 4 so we have already marked all the primary instantaneous centers next step we have to mark all the secondary instantaneous centers so other one detail that is a major step here secondary instantaneous centers mark locate another major step Already, already we have already seen the primary eye centers in a regular polygon corner right mark here that means if we have 4 link then we have a square right mark here square corner right mark here 
Okay, suppose you have six links are linked in the link. What you have to do? You have to draw a regular hexagon. Okay. So, you have to draw a point mark here. And that is the one, two, three, four. Like our links. Okay. Now, this link and this link is in the center. We have already located it. That is the rigid line that we have joined. That is one, two, we have already located it. We have already joined it. 2, 3, we have already located it. We have already located it. Okay, 3, 4, we have already located it. 1, 4, we have already located it. This is the combination of locating it. We have to locate the instantaneous center between link 1 and 3. And similarly, we have to locate the instantaneous center between link 2 and 4. 1, 3, we have to locate it. 2, 4, we have to locate it. So, we will discuss one by one. अब वो इंसिडेंटियस सेंटर वन थ्री लोकेट चाहिए ना तो वो लेकर ना हमारा तो एक डॉटेड लाइन उपयोग करके जॉइन चाहिए इन्हें यान पारे ना तो आने देंगे ना सदिश के घर करना दे ओके एंगे ना हमारे को वन थ्री इंसिडेंटियस सेंटर वन थ्री लोकेट चाहिए दैट इज वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट कैरफुल आइटम स one three common edge आए वेरन ना रंड ट्रायंगल्स सी यू कैन सी ट्रायंगल वन टू थ्री एंड ट्रायंगल वन फोर थ्री इधर ने रंड इन दिन कॉमन एडज आने वन थ्री डेट मींस टू लोकेट वन थ्री आई वन थ्री यू हैव टू एक्सटेंड यू हैव टू जॉइन इंस्टेंटेनियस सेंडर वन टू एंड इंस्टेंटेनियस सेंडर टू थ्री अब वन नू ट� टू एंड थ्री यू एक्स जॉइन जी दो रे लाइक स्ट्रेट लाइन वर्क किया सिमिलरली वन नू फोर यू थ्री यू फोर यू जॉइन जी दे और एक स्ट्रेट लाइन एक्सटेंड इधर वर्क किया आदि इन द रैंड इन दी मीटिंग पॉइंट आए दिखियो इंस्टेंटेनियस सेंटर वन थ्री इन द बारे इन्दर आई एक्सप्लेन वंस अगेन टू � one two two three नमक extend ये हम अगर ये line हो नमक extend ये हम so what you have to do you have to draw अपन अगर ये extension ओके नगर ये dotted line है इतना वर्क किया नगर ये scale ओके इतना आना वर्क किया ना दे अपन अगर काट के बिटू ये extend ये okay now similarly you have to extend one four and three four okay so one four ये वाला इंडे three four ये वाला इंडे अब आ line हो नमक इंडी हम उन्हें extend ये तो ये वाला तो नमक Towards upwards are extended. In this case, we have to extend the other side. If we look at Nokia, we have to extend the other side. We have to extend the meeting point. So, that's why you can extend the other side. Now, we have an intersecting point here. Okay. This is our meeting point. That means this is I13. Is that clear? So, very simple. Now, in the same way, we can draw now next i center we have to locate is 2 4 so number 2 4 with a dotted line we to join j no like this now next step and then 2 4 common edge i to where in the triangles look at the camera the 4 1 2 that is one triangle second triangle is 2 3 4 about number of the center 4 1 and 1 2 extend here other one 4 1 and 4 1 means 1 4 both are same okay 4 1 and 1 2 extend here that was e line it all right come in line and i'm going to extend here extend here like this you have to extend so you know the scale of the extend you want to cut to get to now next triangle i run 2 4 2 4 and there 2, 4 and the common item is the next triangle is 2, 3 and 3, 4. But 2, 3 now we can put and 3, 4 we can put. E line is B, C in the line. Now the line is in the line. This way we will extend it. So we will scale it. We will correct it. So we have a meeting point here. So this point is what? This is I, 2, 4. So problem over. So we have located all the six instantaneous center तो नेगल की secondary instantaneous center से locate इन दे clear right minus लाई इन्हें विचारी करो okay 
So if you have any doubt regarding this topic, you can comment the same in the comment box. And link over in the specific topic. topic explain Also comment the same in the comment box. And please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon for further updates. Thanks for watching.